following show is a paid program. What's going on? Let me tell you something. Guess who's in the building with me on today? It is Christopher Kid Reed. Hey, buddy, how you doing? What's up, Kid? Oh, man, I'm what telling you, everybody has been calling me, calling what? me, calling me, <laughs> saying, is he going to be in? Yes, he's going to be here. I, I is here. I, okay. Exactly. You here. Yeah, love H sound. Oh, man, from the Bronx, New York. That's right. Let's That's talk right. about it. Let's talk about it. First of all, how did you in, get into the business? Wow. Um, back in the days, um, you know, we were we were uh, born and raised in, in, in Bronx and yeah. ended up moving to Queens where, where Play and I uh, grew up together. Yeah. And, um, you know, we were, he and I were friends from back in the days. Right. And um, we were initially, or I think we were in two different groups. Yeah. But those groups kind of disintegrated. And, you know, he and I was always hanging out any anyway every day. Yeah. So we were just like, well, why are we... Do something together. Absolutely. Um, uh, Play's name was originally uh, Playboy. You know, <laughs> you know, with the, Christopher with the, Martin, yeah, shout out to you. Yeah, shout out. Uh, he, his name was Playboy. Yeah. And my original name was uh, Kid Cool Out. Okay. Um, but just moving forward, we was like, all right, well, let's let's try to do something different. So um, Kid Cool Out and Playboy became Kid and Play. Man. So it kind of fit our personalities. We were always kind of laughing and joking and, and trying yeah. to have fun and whatnot. And you know, it stuck. And, you well, know, I, now I'm in my 50s still, <laughs> still being called kid. You know what I'm saying? I know Imagine right. that. You know what I'm saying? House Party was such a big, 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 huge Yeah, that was, that was a, House Party was a game changer. That was a game changer. As they say. Yeah, and uh, this being uh, the 30th year anniversary right. of, of House Party, which is amazing to us. You know, um, we never thought in our wildest dreams that the movie would be as popular or more popular yeah. than, than it's ever been. Um, but we're very grateful. And, and it's kind of weird in times like these during the pandemic, um, movies like House Party yeah. are, are more popular than ever because people, they want to kind of go back yeah. to, to that fun time. Remember when we used to kick it? Remember when we used to have House Parties? Exactly. Remember, you know, so people tend to kind of go back to that music that makes them feel comfortable yeah. and the movies. Remember uh, so, you used, you know, movies when we like, used to be able to dance? Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> Hello? I don't Hello, right? You can't get that close right now. You know what I mean? <laughs> that type of dance we were doing. It's okay. Um, but yeah, just that vibe, just people having fun, and, and I think that's what a lot of people miss most about um, about going through the pandemic is yes. that we, we can't be together yeah, we like can't. like we yeah you know, social like we were. Yeah, yeah absolutely. And, and I and I hope you know once we get through this mm -hmm. um, that we can get back to that. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, just in general. You know, I'm I'm a huggy type yeah, guy. You know, yeah. I'm one of them dudes like yeah. you know, like a five minute handshake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know how we do. You, you know, know how we saying? do. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying. Then you know, we have yeah. reunions. You yeah, know? yeah. One of them fraternity handshakes. Yeah. Pop locking and all that. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. So I hope we can get we can get back. You to know that. another thing too. We can't have a reunion. You know, black folks without a family reunion. Oh, oh man. Well, they we doing it doing it now on 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 the virtual on, on computer, right? The yeah. Virtual. They call it they call it a <laughs> Resumion. All right. That's you can't what, have your funerals. You know the five hour funerals. You can't have them no more. You have thirty you know minutes. What? And I, I'll say this on a. a, a Changing the yeah. topic slightly in yeah. a weird way, you know, um, my father passed away last year, mm -hmm. in 2019, mm -hmm. and I, you know, in a weird way, I mean, he was 91, so he was, you know, he had a, yeah. a long, beautiful life. Yeah. And in a weird way, I was just like, you know what? I'm glad he's not around for yeah. this. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Because, you know, we, you know, we sent him off right. Yeah. You know, the, the way he wanted, the way he right. specifically, you know, and all relatives and things. Right. And it, 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 you know, and we were all kind of there to celebrate his life. And support we we each wouldn't other. be able we wouldn't be able to do no. that now. And that's what's that's what's missing right you know? now. And that's 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 what I, and that pains me that that, that people have to go have through have to go through that. Yeah, man, you can't even. And they can't even go to the hospital. Even if you go into the hospital, nobody can go with it. you. Stop yeah, it. Stop man. it. That's that's the worst part about it. Yeah. Because, you know, nobody wants to die alone. No. That's you know it. What I'm saying? Separation. Ooh. Separation. That's it's, it. That's it's it. Terrible. It's terrible. Wow. 
Um, but let's go back to house party real quick. Let's see a video real quick of you guys doing the dance. What? Well, we're going to wait on the video, okay? All right. Okay, uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> let's talk about the business of comedy, though. You're here for a comedy show. It's going right. to be at Phil and Derrick's. It's going to be September the 18th through the 20th. That's right. And it's called Speakeasy Lounge over at the Phil and Derrick's. If you see the lounge side. Right, right. Yeah, mm -hmm. we actually, I think we, we went there yesterday. We had a little something to eat on, yeah. on that side. And then the, Very the, nice. the, the, the club is on, you know, uh, Absolutely. right next, next door or whatever, right, yeah. to connect it. Um, yeah, you know, this is actually, um, you know, I've been doing stand-up for, for 20 years now. Yeah. You know I mean? A good friend of mine, actually a comedian from here, in, right here in Houston, Billy D. Washington, yeah. um, is going to be on the show, uh, right. shows with us this weekend. And he he called me a, a couple weeks ago and asked me if I wanted to do the show. And actually, I hadn't done uh, any stand-up, you know, since the pandemic. Right. I've been, I've been on lockdown in, in Los Angeles. Yeah. yeah. So this is like my, and, and I thought to myself, I was like, well, you know, I, I, as cautious as as you try to be, right? You still have. I still have to try to find a way to kind of get back to uh, some sort of sense of normalcy, right? So, um, and you know, Billy's a good friend, and he told me, "Hey, man, you're gonna love the club. There's really good people. You know, mm -hmm. they 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 got it set up. Social distance. So everything, yeah. everything is set up. You know, uh, according to uh, you know requirements. Mm -hmm. And so I said, you know what? Let's 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 go for it. I mean, Houston's always been one of my favorite cities to go to. I got a lot of great uh, friends here. Um, and so that's what we're gonna do. So we got we got uh, three shows Friday, three shows Saturday, and then on Sunday we're gonna, uh, in honor of the 30th anniversary of House Party, we're gonna be out on the patio, you know, drinking and smoking cigars, and we're gonna watch House Party Sounds outside. Good. So you know, just yeah. to kind of make it a kind of House Party weekend, and you know, just try to have some fun with the with the with the good folks of Houston. Yeah, there you go. Let's talk about that House Party. So, man, I, get, I, I get tired just looking at it now. You know, <laughs> like, who, who's that? Who's that young fella? <laughs> 30 years ago. <laughs> Lord, y'all no, had so many people that were on there that were, I mean, that made it now to meet all of them. Yeah, it was, I mean, literally, Martin, it, it's, it's so like an all star many. team. You're talking about, obviously, you're talking about Kid and Play, you're talking about Robin Harris, you're talking yes. about Full Force, you're talking about Tisha Campbell, you're talking yeah. about AJ Johnson, you're talking about Martin Lawrence, you're talking about John Witherspoon, was, yes. was the neighbor next door, Public yeah. Enema, Public yeah. Enema, all that stuff. So, um, uh, just, and, and we had. Gosh. Fun every day, like wow. we were, it was a lot for a lot of us. It was our it was our first movie, yeah. And um, we just uh, just had a blast. Wow. And, and as I was saying earlier, it's just amazing to all of us that um, the movies had so much staying power over wow. the years, and it's it's a, it's a blessing. It's the it's the, it's the gift later. that keeps on giving. Thirty years later, gosh, you Imagine. ain't changed. What you doing? <laughs> I don't know. You know what? In my, what in what my, you been drinking? In my, just water, just straight water every day. No, please. I'm worse. Um, no, in my family, we have an expression they call even the half black don't crack. <laughs> Why? <laughs> yeah. I love that one. I love no, that one. No, but you know, um, I, you know, probably good genes more than anything else. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, and, and, you know, we all still have all the actors and stuff. We still have uh, great relationships yeah. with, with each other when we get an opportunity to, to see each other. Yeah. Um, hopefully we will soon. Mm -hmm. um, but we all stay in touch. And, and, you know, this year being the 30th anniversary, yeah. it's, it's been really like a revelation. And there's been a lot of, you know, renewed interest right. in the film. Yes. Um, they're always showing it. Like, I mean, BET, they'll, they'll show House Party 1, 2, 3, back to back to they back. They'll show it every yeah. day. <laughs> and, that's, and that's because people still enjoy yeah. it and love it. And, they really do. And that's... Um, and then you have the younger people that had, were not there that yeah. really love it. Yeah, and, and but because that, and I was talking earlier to a friend of mine, that's because... Um, the OGs are passing it down to them. Yes. You know what I mean? The, the mothers and fathers are passing yes. it down to their kids, the older brothers to the, yeah. to the younger brothers and sisters yeah. saying, get up on this. And the kids are like, whoa. Like, like y'all really could dance. Yeah, y'all could dance. Look at, the, look at the clothes. Look at the colors. Look right. at the hairstyles. Look at, look at um, you know, ain't nobody getting shot and killed. Right. Everybody have, it. Have, having fun. And, yeah. and you know, it was a happy ending, and, yeah. and you know, okay, I didn't, I didn't get to have no sex. I know I left the condom in there too long. <laughs> I understand that, but sometimes you don't, you know, what I'm saying if you don't play it right, you, don't ain't, play it right. you ain't gonna get nothing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, but uh, that's, you know, those themes um, are timeless, right? And um, I think that's uh, why the movies remain so popular. So man, it's great, and I love that part about it. The whole thing about the haircut, oh my the high-top fade. You had people walking around that couldn't barely walk their head. What, 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 <laughs> the higher the, the higher it is. I know. What was I thinking? You know? <laughs> I mean, it was, I just remember back then when we were growing up in yeah. New York, um, 
we just had this desire to like be unique. Yes. We didn't want to look like anybody mm -hmm. else. We didn't want to dress like anybody else. We didn't want to sound like anybody else. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of cats that come up today, the, their intention is, yo, I want you, I want you, yo, dress like this and do like this and right. talk like me. And, uh, we were different. We were like, don't, don't do this. Exactly. Like we're the, we, we thought we were the cool kids. So, we, <laughs> but when you do that, people have a tendency. Then they really want to do it. Right. They're like, oh, I don't want to. Right. You know, so the hair was a big deal. It was our, big our, deal. our dancing was was, was. was you know was very popular. Um, clothing. The clothing was great. You know, play play was usually like in charge of that. He has a great like artistic eye and mm -hmm. creative sense. So. You know, we I, I trusted him. You know, to put us in the in the in the flyer stuff, mm -hmm. uh, which he always did. He designed all our album covers and all yeah. this and that. So, you know, we definitely had a hand in in um in in our art and helping create our art. And you know, it, I mean, as as with house party, I mean, you yeah. know, people still, you know, you know, before the pandemic, obviously, mm -hmm. but um, we were still touring very very regularly, and people, you know, love to hear the the, the old the OG songs and whatnot. So. Man, they love you guys. And the interesting part of it is that you're Christopher Reed, and he's Christopher Martin. Both, yeah. <laughs> How did that? <laughs> right, we was we was the original Criss Cross. Yeah, okay? you're right. You really are the um, Criss Cross. But yeah, yeah, we both both named both named Chris, and um and and I guess that's why um um. I don't know, and 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 I guess to differentiate us, that's yeah. why the why the nicknames kind of kid stuck. and play, you know, yeah, kid and play, yeah. I mean, and, you know, people still call him play. They call me kid, and you know, that, that's that's what, what it you is. Say, the yeah, 50s, that's what you it in is. the fifties a kid. Yeah, <laughs> imagine that. You know, and and also too, it was just like I said, we kind of had our own. We had our own style, like yeah. like before the movie. So exactly. people people were like, well, well, you got the movie. Is that you know? That's that's when you did the hair, or you. You know, they, they told you how to do it like that. And I was like, nah, I said, we, that's, I think that's how we got the job. Exactly. Like, we, we, you know, we, we walked in the door like that. Right. We, were, we, was, we was ready made. Yeah. And, and uh, you know, the director, Reggie Hudlin, the writer, director, mm -hmm. um, you know, had an interest in us. Yeah. Uh, originally, he used to step to us. Uh, he wanted to shoot like our music videos. Right. Um, and it never quite worked out on that tip. But then he approached us with the original script for mm -hmm. House Party. Um, I read the script and it was I thought it was I thought it was great and I thought it was something that that, that we could work with together mm -hmm. to bring it bring it to life uh, and that's what happened you know right. it, was, it was Reggie's first film as well wow. so we were all kind of new jacks mm -hmm. um, and we 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 trusted each other you right. know if if Reggie really wanted something something you know that, that he wanted done a certain way mm -hmm. you know we would we would listen to him but by the same token he also said he said look he says I'm not as a well versed in hip hop as you guys right. are and you know your audience mm -hmm. he says if if there's a better way to say what i've written you know you're saying the same thing but you're saying it in a way that right. your audience will understand it he said go ahead wow, he said good. he gave us he gave us free reign, free reign. with that yeah um uh, and so I, th I thought that was you know you have to be not not i've worked with many directors not all directors not all directors are as selfless mm -hmm. as that some directors particularly writer directors some right. writer directors they don't want you to change one no one word mm -hmm. like i was like yo well, how about i just say and they're like eh. i'm like like yeah. stop it you know reggie it was mm -hmm. not like that spike lee is not like that you know they let you express yourself mm -hmm. like look this is what this is what we're trying to get across in this scene mm -hmm. and I, like he said if you gotta if you, if you want to say it a certain way mm -hmm. but but we still end up at the state that the right destination right he said go ahead well, we got a lot of local uh artists as well as uh actors here mm -hmm. and actresses and they always ask the question about by them being local how do they come to become mainstream what do they need to do other than just casting calls mm -hmm. you know things like that working on their craft things like that what would you suggest well you know what i think things have changed um over the years yes. you know um back in the days uh, a lot of times the advice would be um you know you know get to new york yes or get to los angeles yes you know, move there. This is not or come during you know pilot season or mm -hmm. when when they're particularly mm -hmm. casting for a lot of a lot of different things. Um, and 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 I'm sure to this day there, there's still a, a certain portion of that mm -hmm. that is true. Yes. Um, but what I'm finding out, uh, particularly in places of cities like Houston, uh, a lot of times people are creating their own content. Good. You know, they're not they're not uh, going going on castings for for other people's stuff. Mm -hmm. They're creating their own stuff, right? And they they they're getting homegrown talent, yes. and creating their own vehicles, television shows, mm -hmm. uh, short films, films. Mm -hmm. Um, and and I think I think that's a better way to go, right? You know, uh, if people can kind of consolidate and, and get a, get a you know get like a, a crew together, that a creative kind of crew, so that you can create you know your own art, and so that you're not you know you're not doing somebody else's story. You're creating your own stories. You know, my, my, my comedian friend Billy D. Washington, mm -hmm. he does that all the time. Like he got he got, you know, I think he, he got tired of of, you know, kind of not being able to do his own thing. So mm -hmm. he said, you know what, these are the stories that I want to hear. These are stories that me and my friends 
want to hear and that aren't being told. Mm -hmm. So I think a lot of it uh, to me today, I, I would I would urge young people to, um, you know, look to creating your own vehicles. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. You know, I mean, and you can do both. You can still, you know, from time to time. I don't think you got to move to Cali or anything like that anymore. Um, but there's certain times that you, you know, you can go there for a week or two when you know that there's certain things going on. But at the same time, look to create Absolutely. your own vehicles. What would you like to leave with the viewers, my friend? Mm -hmm. What would you like to leave with the viewers? Um, Talk to the viewers. Yeah. Well, <laughs> well, first of all, I I, I, I want to thank you very much no, for, for having so me much. on. Um, like I said, this is my first time, uh, you know, traveling. Out, out traveling out the house for a minute. I'm, I'm excited, uh, excited about the shows this yeah. weekend. I urge everybody to come out. Um, like I said, Houston's one of my favorite cities. I got mm -hmm. some lovely, great friends here. Um, so I'm, I'm very, very excited to be here. Come, come check us out this week, man. Yeah, September the 18th come through on. the 20th. Come Speak on. Easy com Comedy Lounge at Phil and Derrick. Phil and Derrick's. You and and the here. lemon pepper wings are the bomb. <laughs> We'll see you. We'll be right back. Bye. We'll be right back to the Cam Hill Show after these messages. Houston's only Cadillac to your door dealer, Ron Carter Cadillac, delivers test drives to your home or office. For a limited time, get $16,000 off all in-stock Cadillac 2019 XT5 crossovers and $19,000 off all in-stock 2019 CT6 sedans. Or experience the first ever 2020 Cadillac XT6 premium luxury collection. Only $519 with $1 down for 39 months lease. Or purchase and receive 0.9% APR for 72 months with no payments until November. RonCarterCadillac.com when it comes to protecting yourself and your partners, all the information out there can be overwhelming. Visit our website. We are a free and confidential service striving to help you stay informed and stay notified. We are committed to a healthy Houston. Houston's only Cadillac to your door dealer, Ron Carter Cadillac, delivers test drives to your home or office. Drive the new 2020 Cadillac XT4, only $399 a month, or the new 2020 XT5, only $429 a month, both for 39 months lease with just $1 down. Or purchase the XT4 or XT5 and enjoy 0.9% APR for 72 months with no payments until November. RonCarterCadillac.com have you been injured in an 18-wheeler accident, truck accident, car accident? Was someone texting and ran into the back of you, not paying attention? It doesn't matter what it is. Give me a call, Attorney Willie Powell. We'll fix it today. The number is 281-881-2457. Again, that number is 281 281- 881-2457. We'll fix it today. Call attorney Willie Powell. And now back to the Cam Hill Show. Hey, thanks so much, family. You just saw Christopher Kidd Reed. Remember, he will be at Speak Easy uh, Comedy Lounge, which is really Phil and Derrick's. It's on the lounge side, September the 18th. Teeth through the 20th. It's be this weekend starting tonight and Saturday and Sunday. So just want to touch base with you and let you know that. Hey, we have on today Cupid and Tamisha Horton. How you doing? Hi, how are you? Oh, good. Doing great, doing great. So we have Tamisha Horton. She's CEO <laughs> of ZBT Awards, Zodico Blues and Trail Riders. I've heard so much about it. And trust me, Cupid, everybody knows him with this shuffle. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, man. Appreciate Had it. me out there trying to practice last night. I'm trying to practice this little <laughs> shuffle. Do whatever I got to do. <laughs> Let's jump right Ooh, in yeah. and talk to both of you. Tamisha, starting with you, how did Zodico Blues and Trail Riders start? ZBT Awards. Um, it started with me having friends and family that um, do Zodico, do blues, um, trail ride and just wanted to like help out and recognize and honor those people that um have such a big impact in those three organizations it is mm -hmm. a lot of um talented artists in blue zydeco um a lot of legends in the trail ride scene um even you know we have keep it on here today keep it is one of 
yes. somebody that we just have a lot of love and respect for the mm-hmm. DMT organization who um, I, I tell my team all the time, we're, we're going to honor him as much as we can if we have to just create awards for him because <laughs> uh, he has done so much. And so we definitely do appreciate him so much. I'm telling you, he's one of the best, Tamisha. I truly agree with what you said. Mr. Cupid, how did all of this start, my friend? How did this get started? Well, uh, I'm born and raised in Lafayette, Louisiana. So I'm kind of in between the Zydeco culture, the blues, Southern soul, swing out, and so many other uh, genres. So it's a blessing to be able to be recognized. You know, I'm very humble and chill. So... I don't do good with awards. Every time I get one, I'm like <laughs> clamming up. But um, for, for what Tamisha does, again, she um, she recognizes a, a a genre of music that's untapped. And I think that people, you know, big city folk, you say Zydeco, they're like, oh, what's that? Well, there's a whole culture of thousands and thousands of people who rock to that. And those guys mm-hmm. need to be recognized because they work very hard for their culture. And I concur. He is an humble spirit. I, uh, uh, Tamisha. We both say that same thing. He's humble and quiet. <laughs> uh, look, look, until we get until we get to the shuffle, then he gets busy. We get oh, yeah, until we get to the microphone, then it's, then it's a wrap. Yeah, when you get on stage, it's... It's, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. Yeah. Hey, guys, are we ready for the video? Let's look at it. Let's look at him in action. Oh, oh man. Uh-oh. <laughs> Who knows what I'm doing on this Oh, stand. we're going to do that. In a, well, okay, so we're going to look at the Cupid Shuffle in a few minutes. Let's just start with uh, Cupid. As far as what's next for you, my friend, what's next? Well, during the pandemic, you know, um, I've been doing a lot of writing for a lot of blues artists. Mm-hmm. Um, I have a new line dance that I put out two days ago. Oh, not a lot. <laughs> i got to practice that line dance, Tanisha. He's got a new line dance out. <laughs> Yeah, it's called it's called the flex. It's and called I have the flex. Uh oh, uh oh. Yeah, you gonna yeah. have us in ER playing all this stuff. <laughs> Either that or uh, or in a, a rehab center. A rehab center. He's in shoulders. You know. Got to the shoulders. Yeah, man. I got a new EP. It's called Phase Four. It's coming yeah. out in uh in in October. Yeah. So I'm just excited to 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 create new music and give. I I miss being on the road. Um, I know so much. Mm-hmm. So much. That's how this COVID is done. Tamisha, let's jump right in. Southern Soul, a lot of people ask about that type of music. You have helped that music out so much. What would have, what, what is that music and what, how could it move forward? Okay, I'm sorry, Kim, can you ask me again? I'm sorry. Yeah, Southern Soul. Speaking of Southern Uh Soul, the type of music, Southern Soul. Um, I particularly think Southern Soul is kind of like R&B, kind of soul form. Uh-huh. Like, uh, blues in Southern Soul is totally different. Uh-huh. Um, when, you say, when you say Southern Soul, I kind of think of, um, let me see, maybe like a TK Soul mm-hmm. or something like that. Yeah. Um, when you say blues, I think of a Bobby Blue Bling. Yes. Um, like that. So the song was kind of like soulful, um, cause even Cupid, some Southern soul. So right. it's just like a kind of like um, R and B is soulful thing to me. Absolutely. So, that, Absolutely. Um, can, yeah, that can do both the blues and the Southern soul. Uh huh. But yeah, it's kind of like the R and B is soulful, like soulful sound to me. Sounds good. Cupid, what do you think about Southern Soul? How could it move forward as a genre? Because I noticed that it's a billion dollar industry and it's African American owned and we're not doing anything yeah. as much with it, you know? Well, to be honest, man, um, I, I was signed to Atlantic Records in 2007. Okay. And and, I, and uh, so I know what it is from a big standpoint, right. from a smaller standpoint. Mm-hmm. And honestly, my honest opinion is that Southern Soul is at an all time high. Mm. But I don't think that it should be industrialized by no means because the minute the industry gets it, it becomes tainted. It mm. reminds me kind of how when screw music, <clears throat> screw music from Houston came out, mm-hmm. and before it got big, like we was all jamming to DJ Screw. I'm, I'm, I'm even, I'm even on a song with DJ Screw. Yeah. And then when the industry got it, it's like it came and it went. Mm-hmm. So I'm not a big believer in. I think big is how you see it. 
Yeah. These Southern Soul artists are making more money than most of the uh, big artists, I promise wow. you. Like, oh yeah, it's, it's, they're getting way more money. Really? And I feel that if the industry grabs a hold of it, uh -huh. then it'll taint it. So um, I think it's at its highest peak, and I just think that people just need to come down and see what it is. Absolutely. Man, um, the Cupid Shuffle changed my life, man. Uh, in, 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 La in Louisiana, I was like, you know, I just want to try to make a line dance song. I didn't think anything of it because I was making Southern Soul and Blues songs. Right. And I mean, I made it in August of 06. In January of 2007, I got a phone call from Atlantic, Def Jam, Universal, everybody. I'm like, y'all want this? <laughs> so I had no idea it was going to be what it is, but I tell you, it is a blessing. And, right. um, you know, even today, like, you know, just the other day I saw on Good Morning America, there was like these trash guys who do the trash and they were like dancing to the song. They were saying, yes, wild I saw that this trash. morning. Yeah, man. So it is, it's an, it's an anthem. Um, probably possibly the biggest dance song of all time. So it's just it a blessing to be able to have that as the foundation of my career, man. So Tamisha, I, t I was just, I was saying the same thing. I just saw it just the other day that it was on and the guys from the, the trash, the guys that were doing trash. They were behind yeah. it. They were dancing through the. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. <laughs> yeah, and the security. The I guess the guy had a house. You know, he had a security, and they saw it on the security Ooh. monitor <laughs> that they were out there yeah. dancing. That was so fun. It's crazy. Let's talk to people real quick about uh, the business of music. There is a music business, but ninety percent of it is business, and a lot of people don't know that part. You know, they lose out. They lose their money a lot of times. These artists do. Let's talk about that. Cupid, as well as Tamisha, let's just jump right in. Cupid, we'll start with you. And then Tamisha, you tell the other side of that. Um, for myself, you know, you learn being signed to a major label, mm -hmm. you know, where the pennies and the nickels go. Mm -hmm. and, and that's very important. A lot of artists, you know, they want to just perform and they love that rush. But um, every single time your song plays on a TV show, on the radio, you should be getting money. And if it's not situated that way, then, you know, somebody else is collecting it. Yeah. Um, I try to tell a lot of young artists, like, to, you know, talk to me. I'll teach you how to do it. Um, right. A lot of them don't want to don't want to do it. But, you know, fortunately, I haven't punched the clock since 2005 wow. um, from doing music. So, um, you know, there is a business. And if you execute it properly, man, you, you can do what you love for the rest of your life. I love that. Tamisha, let's jump right in on the other side of that as far as uh, the business side of it, too. Uh, let's talk about it. Uh, I uh, Kim, I'm I'm learning the business side. Mm -hmm. it, I'm I'm learning a lot. Yeah. Um, like you could say, you, you have to make sure you have your business straight. Make yes. sure that your everything is straight because mm -hmm. you're um, you're the talent, and somebody else. If you if you don't have your business straight, somebody on the back end is you know is, is collecting um, the benefits from your from your work. So I've learned that I have a lot of um, friends in in music, right. and they share those those things with me. Um, I had an interview not too long ago, and um, sometimes Cupid is one of my go to people for information for as business. and he, And he said something earlier about um, the mainstream, like mainstream picking up um, blues or picking up Dottico, that um, it. The, the value of it would go down like it would probably pretty much disappear and he's definitely um correct on that me and my team went out to atlanta i think two years ago um because my biggest thing was to try to get zbt awards on television right and um once this is when i got my um my first impact of i got the wake-up call basically mm -hmm. um cam if a big industry picks this up what we're doing um it'll pretty much be watered down mm. so like you have the sir charles jones and, and um the tks and the tuckers those people pretty much probably probably the first the first one or two years they'll still be relevant and then after that it'll kind of fade away mm. um i'm learning in the blues market that it is a whole other side to that of other people right that uh that sings blues um i i got a like I said, I learned a lot when I went to Atlanta. Um, Southern soul and blues and the music that we do, like you could say, it, 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 it sounds funny to other people because they really, they haven't heard it or they don't understand it. Um, but um, like I said, I walked away from a deal in mm. Atlanta because I felt like if I took 
what they offered me, then I would right. be selling my people out. That's what right. I thought that I would, and that's what I would have done. I would have sold everybody out. I would have got a check. Yes. Um, yeah, I would have been able to sit at home. Mm -hmm. um, but I would have sold everybody out because I, I feel so honored to have awards like the Marvin Cease Legendary Award, right. the Johnny Taylor Icon Award. We mm -hmm. also even have an award of the New Cupid Entertainer of the Year Award. We have awards named after some awesome, awesome people, right. Big Cynthia. Uh, and I'm sitting in the meeting and I, and I bring this up to the young lady and she didn't even know who Big Cynthia was. Right. Um, they knew who Johnny Taylor was. Um, they knew who, uh, you know, who um, male waiters. And God knows I love and I respect B.B. King and his family. Yes. But, you know, they was more like the B.B. Kings and, the, um, you know, much more like the way back, like the Muddy Waters. Mm -hmm. So it was kind of like this exists, but a lot of people just don't give it its proper respect is right I mean, you know what i'm saying they don't yeah. give it the proper respect yeah. and i felt like if i had a took the um deal in atlanta um cam i would have sold every body out and i definitely agree with cupid i think it's time for people to come down to where we're at right and see um what we see because um also on my interview um i made it known that um because the zbt um awards is a people's choice award show right so mm -hmm. i allow the people to nominate the people to call the shots the, right so you know because i feel like as a promoter as an artist you have fans and yes. if you don't have fans and, and people don't buy tickets then guess what you don't make money right so i pretty much this pretty much is a people's choice um award show but i've had to step the game up now cam to where we got to go by the body of work in the number system so that's mm -hmm. gonna kind of that's something hard for me to do as well because I have to it, it knocks a lot of these artists out there really really are working really hard yes. and really trying this make it's gonna make them say okay I'm now I'm gonna have to step my game up I'm gonna have right. to step my game up now because now we're, we're going by numbers and stuff and wow. I I always use Cupid as an example because if you go check his numbers um he has his numbers are out the roof right and when you go when i went to this meeting cam the young lady told me she said you have six artists that you sit at this table and you called out their name which is cute it was one of them that meets the number so just think about all these people in southern soul and out of all these yeah so what they tell you exactly yeah. exactly yeah we sure appreciate you. I wanted to tell you that, you and Cupid. Cupid, what would you like to leave with our viewers? Oh, y'all can hit me on Instagram. <laughs> um, official new Cupid. Um, I answer my phone, I answer Instagram, and um, I'm calling out all your viewers to do my flex challenge, my new line dance. You got a new you, line dance, Cam. flex challenge. Yeah. No, Cam, I need a video oh. of you doing the dance, Cam. That's what I need. <laughs> All right, oh, I'll gosh. send you a video. Uh oh, uh oh, you heard that, Tamisha. I'm in trouble. Y'all hear it? Y'all hear it? You can't go back on it. <laughs> I can't go back on it, Tamisha. I can't. I can't go ah. back on that. Okay, where can they get it? Where can they get all the information, uh, Cupid? Oh man, uh, just Google New Cupid. Um, New Cupid Online is my website. Okay. New Cupid. When you pop, when you put it up, everything new comes up at the top of the uh, the screen. So type in New Cupid Flex. It's gonna pop right up. And let's let's dance. Okay, let's do it. Tamisha, last words and how do people contact you and actually find out more about the ZBT Awards? Um, you can go. I have an Instagram and um a social media. We do also do have a website of uh, yeah. ZBTHonors.com. Uh, my email address, my number is on there. I do answer my phone as well. <laughs> <laughs> it might take me a little bit to get back with you. Because <laughs> I, I have to still go to a regular nine to five. But um, yeah, so, you know, and Cam, I really, I wanted to share this with you. I, I announced it on last night. Um, I, it, was, it was made official yesterday and I'm very excited about it. Y'all look forward to the ZBT Honors Hall of Fame and Museum Building because it is coming and it is just Ooh. one of the, I am just so excited about yeah. that. And then uh, 
and we will do the first um, inductee class for 2021. And Cupid is one of our inductees. So Yay. look, all this work out today. Because I don't even know if you were going to live until last night. So yes, I am really excited about that. And so I just want to tell anybody, if God places something on your heart, yeah. And anything you want to do, just do it. Just give it your best and, you know, and do, you know, and do it. That sounds good. Hey, that's Cupid and Tamisha Horton. I'm telling you, thank you so much. I appreciate you. God bless you. And I'm going to do that flex. I got to just start working out. I, I might have to know. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I'm waiting. I'm I know. waiting. <laughs> Tamisha, I think I walked into something. I better. <laughs> no, tell him. He has Wait till a he... lot of lines. He has a lot Wait of till he see the dance, though. Wait till uh -oh. you see the dance. That's I what I might not be able to do the flex then, y'all. You got I, that. You got I, that. I, I believe in ER. you, bro. I end up in I believe ER. in you. <laughs> I'm going to be right behind you. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. God bless you. God keep you. God Love you. you. Take care. Hey, guys. Thank you, on man. next week, the first day, that Monday, we will have LaBelle Crawford. He will be in the building. Talk to you soon. 1230 to 130 Central Standard Time. Bye.